What is going on my family? Your boy Demetrius is back with another Tekken 8 slash Tekken related video. But before I get into it and talk about what's going on with Tekken and what's going on with these polls, I want to spit some game to y'all real quick. And that is I want y'all to check out and subscribe to my homeboys at RK Press. Here is the link right here. The link is also in the description box in my video below. And I will also pin it in the comment section. Go check my homeboys out at RK Press. And also, if you got a Twitter account, go ahead and follow them on Twitter. They are one of the best in the business when it comes to articles, when it comes to interviews, and when it comes to talking about things as far as the FGC and fighting games. Whatever fighting games that you're mostly into or if you're into all of them, check my homeboys out. You know, they got Virtual Fighter, Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Fighters. I mean, you name it. Guilty Gear, you name it. These guys are one of the best in the business at it. So go ahead and check my homeboys out. And as you know, your boy is a part of their group. So you already know their group is 100% legit, authentic, and we all keeps it real. So check out my boys at RK Press. So now, getting into what's going on with Tekken. So Harada decided to make another poll. And, you know, I kind of figured that he was going to do some shit like this. He was kind of going to make some type of series out of this shit, which is all right. I ain't got no problem with it. The same rules does apply. If he makes a poll and if your character comes up and that character is not in the Tekken 8 base roster or not been mentioned in any kind of Tekken project as of late, get on these polls. Because there's really something I really got to say about this particular poll when it comes to Lily versus Asuka. Now, it's kind of an obvious thing that he's doing because, you know, it's that little stupid ass, immature ass rivalry between these two characters. And I'm going to get into why these numbers are kind of flat. You know what I'm saying? I had mentioned in a previous video of uh, the video that I did on the Tekken 8 female characters. I had mentioned that Lily has this kind of like this hardcore simp following. You know what I'm saying? People just adore her. People just, you know, jump up and down for Lily, especially the people that main her. But that's the passion when it comes to a Lily main and Lily players. I understand that. And I'm not knocking that or bashing that at all. That's out of respect. But I will say this. Um, I will say I'm kind of shocked at these numbers, even though I was initially not going to make a video on this particular poll because both of these characters are in Tekken 8. And so I was just like, why the hell is Harada doing this? Like, you know what I'm saying? But I kind of see what he's doing. And I actually got a prediction if he's going to continue this. I actually got a prediction on which two characters he's going to do next. Me personally, I think he's going to go King versus Armor King. So look for that shit to come up. I was actually pretty stunned at the numbers, not with Asuka, but with Lily. I thought the numbers would be insane. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Because, hey, when you come across a Lily player, a Lily main, the passion that these players have for a character like Lily is insane. Like, off the chain. Um, I'm very shocked at the numbers. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just one of those, like a lot of people that do main Lily or do uh, play as Lily. Maybe they're, you know, like, okay, you know, my character's already in the game or some shit like that. I don't know. But there's one thing that I do want to say about stuff like this. And this is the reason why the whole Nina versus Anna poll was so important. And it's important because the different level of dedication, the level of passion and care when it comes to these characters. And from what I've seen with these numbers, because I, I thought I was one of those people like, you know what? Lily probably going to blow this whole thing out. I was expecting Lily to get like 72 percent or some shit. You feel what I'm saying? Dead serious. But that's just not the case. And what I'm trying to get is, you know, a Lily player's passion is far different from that of an Anna player's passion. A Lily player's passion is far different from that from an Eddie player's passion. You feel what I'm saying? There is actual levels to this shit. It truly is. 
I had some motherfucker come to my comment section and say it's not that big of a deal. Use a goddamn lie. Yes, it is. And these numbers with Lily just proves it. Now, I'm going to sit up here and say maybe some Lily players were like, fuck this poll. My character's in the game. But you got to take that in consideration on the Asuka side as well. There were probably some Asuka players that didn't vote just because Asuka was in the game. And Asuka blowing this thing out of the water. It's stunning. Despite the fact that the following that Lily has. Very stunning. Lily is one of those characters. Lily is probably like the. Uh, she's probably like the top fan art character of the entire Tekken franchise. When you talk about fan art. Lily is probably number one. People just, man, the fan art when it comes to that character. People spam fan art when it comes to Lily. So you would think her numbers would be crazy. But it's not. And the reason that it's not is just because the level of passion and dedication is just different. That's what that Anna poll stood for. Those Anna players are super dedicated and passionate. But the level is different. It's really not about, okay, the, the numbers are bigger. It's not about that. It's the level, the level of passion and dedication. And like I said, this is shocking. Only 41% for Lily. This is shocking. And of course, you know, I voted Lily because, you know, in a previous video, I had put Lily over Asuka anyway. So y'all motherfuckers know, once again, I'm not capping. I got my receipts. So I'm not doing this for no damn cap. Like a couple of motherfuckers said that came into my comments section on the last video. Punks. But anyway, it's shocking because you would think, you know, the way that people treat Lily, you would just think this would be a blowout on Lily's side, but it's a blowout on Asuka's side. It's very shocking. It's very shocking. But at the same time, it's one of those things that lets people know there's different levels when it comes to a dedication and passion of these characters. You know, maybe people don't see it as I see it, but that's how I see it. And I'm going to tell you something else. That's how Harada sees it, too. Now, clearly, I don't think this poll had anything to do with Tekken 8. I just feel like this poll was just for that. I think Harada just wants to see the level of passion and dedication with these two characters. The same thing with Anna. But the, the thing with the Anna poll is... He got to see that those Anna players over there, they want her back into this game. They're passionate enough to do anything to get her back into the game. That's that level that I'm talking about. You know, that's the level that I'm talking about. You know, and if he makes another poll, whether it be King versus Armor King, Armor King is, is MIA. He's one of those characters that's MIA right now. Or if he makes Bruce versus Fakum Rom. Even if he makes two characters that are in the game. If he makes Jin versus Kazuya. The level of passion and dedication shows with these characters. And that matters. When we want a lot of these characters back in the game. It matters. And I don't want nobody coming into my comment section saying that it doesn't matter. Because it does. It does matter. Or else Harada wouldn't be doing this. Because he finally wants to know. He finally wants to know something. And as I said, I think this is going to continue. And I'm going to be keeping up on this poll shit. I, I think he's going to make a series out of this. I think there's more polls coming. And like I said, I believe that it's probably going to be King or Armor King next. King versus Armor King. And if you are a person, if you're a fan of Armor King, if you main Armor King, and if he does that, get on it. Put in your vote. 
Let Harada see that level of passion and dedication. And if you're an Armor King main, you got the advantage anyway because Armor King is already more popular than King is. That's been documented. So these things do matter. I don't give a fuck what people think. These things do fucking matter. Believe it or not, they matter. And it's up to us to let Harada know that it matters to us. You know? But that's what I wanted to come on here and talk about when it comes to this particular poll compared to the last poll. Level of passion and dedication. And don't get my words twisted. I'm not saying, well, Anna players are better than Nina players or Anna players are better than uh, Asuka players. That's not what the fuck I'm doing. All I'm doing is explaining the level of passion and dedication that a lot of us have when it comes to our main characters. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. And of course, I'm shedding awareness. Like I said, I'm going to be keeping up on these polls because this shit is very serious to me and it's important and it's important because I kind of feel like, you know what, we as the fans and the players and the consumers, we can shape the future with shit like this. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about these shocking numbers, latest polls. Are you shocked? Or are you not too surprised about the numbers? Let me know. We can get a conversation started. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for the hottest Tekken 8 and Tekken 7 action on the internet, period. And I will get back at you in the next video. God bless. Stay safe. I am out. Peace.